and girls, my name's Peyton, and I hope you're having a great Read Across America week. And today, I'm here to read The World Needs Who You Were Made to Be by Joanna Gaines and illustrated by Juliana Sweeney. Today is the day for the ride of our lives when a confetti of color will fill up the sky. Plenty of pink, a bounty of blue, and orange, green, and yellow too. We all play a part, both me and you, as we build our very own hot air balloons. We'll gather supplies and make them our own and prepare to take flight into the great unknown. It doesn't take us long to see that we all work so very differently. Some of us work alone and some of us work side by side. Some of us are quiet and like to think things through and others prefer to chit chat about all we have to do. Some of us think through every possibility before we jump in, and some of us know what we like before we even begin. Sometimes we're scientific and rely on our smarts. Sometimes we're creative and lean into the arts. Some of us are resourceful, we like to work with whatever's on hand. And some of us are extravagant, we like to go so big whenever we can. Some of us are teachers and share what we know, but all of us are learners, together is how we grow. So by now you can probably see how we all work so very differently. Look how everyone's working. We've done our very best and now it's time to fly. See how beautiful it can be when our differences share the same sky. Look at all those cool hot air balloons. We may not look or work or think the same, but we all have an important part to play. All of us can be kind, compassionate, and gracious. All of us can be helpful, considerate, and courageous. So remember who you are. This is your life to live. Don't ever hold back, you have so much to give. You're one of a kind and it's so clear to see the world needs who you were made to be. The end. Hope y'all have a great Read Across America week and remember that the world needs who you were made to be.